those are cool cool tools that you can use in Grasshopper very easily and uh, there we go so those are those tools solid difference and solid union okay that so um, first of all we that gives you the possibility if you have um, two different solids you can just cut them okay or you can in a way merge them or unify them okay so let's make two solids so we have to we can make domain box one domain box here we go we can make a domain box give a special size here okay let's make it so simple domain box okay and then we can also make a sphere as well okay sphere okay so the sphere okay we, we we just leave for the easy way we we leave the the origin point okay we we leave it um, as where it is it's it's o o o as usual okay and then we have those different solids we have the sphere and the box okay if we use the solid difference okay we can say here this is the the b wrap okay and the b wrap that should be cut okay so we're going to take the box here and here inside and then we take the sphere and the sphere should cut the form out of the sphere okay we out of the box okay so, okay, we, we disable the preview, voila, and as you can see, there we go, the sphere cut the, the, the mass, okay, the solid out of the box where it was cut with each other, okay, there we go, and so if we make sphere bigger and smaller okay you see it cuts more or less out of the box but now this is a solid as well okay so if you make something with the solid difference that's a nice thing it's a solid at the end okay? you can work further with it or you have the solid union okay I'm gonna preview this off you have the solid union where you just in a way, merge those diff or unify those different um, geometries or objects, okay, or solids. Yeah, okay. So you put the first solid inside, you put the second solid inside, okay, and at the end, the result is that you have a solid that is put together. Okay, so that's one object, and as well. If you like this object and you think, okay, I want to use it, just press space, bake it, and you have it, then you have it in Rhino. It's, of course, it's also the same in, it's also the same with the solid difference. If you like the shape, okay, this, this curvy shape, then um, just press space, bake it, okay, then you press space again disable it and we do have the form in Rhino. That's a very cool thing and that's also um, you can say that's that's uh, the way how you can use this different tools very very efficient and you can make cool things out of it. Thank you for your patience and uh, see you next time. Bye bye.